Hello everyone. My name's Fiona Blades and I'm the founder of Mesh Experience. This week, the key themes for UK retail banking are flattening the worry curve, emotional persuasiveness, and fintechs missing out. So what we're seeing almost four weeks into lockdown is a reduction in the level of concern that people have for the pandemic. This is down now to 73% of people that are very or fairly concerned, down from a high two weeks ago of 88%. However, although people are feeling the benefit of some relative stability, they're still asking for help from banks to continue the good initiatives that have already been started. So that's things like the mortgage payment reliefs, it's the, um, the reduction in charges and interest fees. So those kind of things are really important to continue to communicate to customers. But the next thing I think is really exciting and it's very heartwarming actually, and that is that we are seeing the level of persuasiveness of communications increasing. So not only are we seeing an increased level of positivity towards the experiences that people are having with banks, and at an overall level, this is now nearly 60% for any experience, whether that's paid, owned or earned, versus 49% pre-pandemic. But we're particularly seeing the persuasiveness of communications increase. And what's surprising about this is normally we would see the persuasiveness of communications being high if it's very focused product-led advertising or it's offer-led and it's got good rates. But this is not what we're seeing at the moment. What we're seeing is brand-led advertising. We're seeing advertising that is helping customers through the pandemic. And therefore, not only are the responses that people are giving very positive, but they are saying that they are much more likely to choose the bank next time. And I'm just going to read out an example of one of these short responses to Barclays TV advertising. Clips of workers at home to help customers relate. Barclays are there to make life easier. Very positive, much more likely to choose, very relevant. And I think that gives a perspective as to exactly what it is that's coming through. And not only are we seeing the paid communications being highly persuasive, but for Lloyds and Barclays, the two biggest advertisers at the moment, we're seeing that the, there's been a sharp increase in the persuasiveness of their own communications. So through their own channels like um, emails, uh, through branches, call centers, and this was at a low of 20% two weeks ago, and it's nearly 60% this week for those two brands. So the third topic this week is, are fintechs missing out? Um, in the past uh, few months uh, and uh, over the last year or so, we've heard in lots of stuff about fintechs. They've come in with exciting propositions and are really filling a gap in the financial landscape. But whilst the big brands have been advertising more and investing in that, we've seen a reduction in the paid communication reach. This has gone down from 9% to 2%, which means that those banks are not getting heard as much as the bigger banks. So we wonder what this will do for the fintechs in the longer term. Will the pandemic and the response to this mean that they are set back a little bit? when things uh, return to a new normal. So in summary, let's just think about what's coming out. Continue to reassure customers through helping them with mortgage payment reliefs and other things of that nature. If you possibly can, invest in brand advertising because this is the thing that is going to be remembered in the long term. And we're seeing the evidence of this now. It's not just that people are feeling positive, but they are feeling more likely to choose the brand. So you are not just winning the hearts of customers at the moment, you're actually persuading them to consider you for the future. Thank you very much indeed.